I'm Skylar. Let me show you a few tips and tricks about how to use the multi-touch display on your iPod Touch. To do this, I'm going to open up the Maps application. Maps allows you to use most of the multi-touch gestures, like pinch to zoom, double tap to zoom, twist to rotate, I love this one. Those are some of the most important gestures that you'll learn. Tap to zoom is actually one of the most interesting ones because you see how intuitive it is. So here we are near where we are right now. So those are some basic multi-touch gestures and that's how you would navigate maps. Let's go to Safari and maybe the New York Times. The New York Times will show us how those same features make it easy to browse a web page that has a lot of text on it. Especially when that text is really small. So here we see a lot of little snippets of articles, summaries. If I double tap over here, it zooms right in on that section. I love that. If I tap again, it zooms back out. Down here, same thing. It's really intelligent. Actually pretty amazing when you stop and think about it. And tap to read this article. And it'll load again. Now, I can zoom just by pinching if I choose to. That allows me to determine where it goes instead of the software determining where it goes. One of the features that was introduced in iOS uh, 4, I think, was Reader. If you tap Reader, it gets rid of all of the ads and extraneous stuff that you see on a typical web page and allows you to focus just on the text of the story. So between the simple multi-touch gestures, tap to zoom and pinch to zoom, and the feature Reader, you've got a really powerful and simple way to navigate web pages. Thanks for watching. I'm Skylar.